Hello friends, Hal here, Quail Studios Guitar, helping you to be the musician you've always wanted to be. Okay, let's get right to it. Um, one of my students over at Patreon said, how do you strum Ramble on Rose? Now Ramble on Rose is by the Grateful Dead, and if you want to know about that, stay tuned. We're going to get right to it. I'm going to write down uh, right here on this paper what the strum is for Ramble on Rose. We're just going to talk about the chords. So it's in the key of D. The first chord is a D. The next one is an E. The next one is F sharp minor. G to D. D again. G and A. That's the verse. Okay? Just like Jack the Ripper. E. Just like Marjo Ham. F sharp minor. Just like Billy Sunday. G. D in a shotgun, D rag time, G band, A. Just like New York City, then we're back into the verse again. Same thing we just did. Okay, so the chords, one of the things you have to understand about chords and about figuring out strums is that you have to be very aware of how many beats are in each chord. In this particular song, there's eight beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In those first two chords, in the D and in the E. Then we have F sharp minor. One, two, three, four. G, one, two, one, two. So the G gets two beats, the D gets two beats, and then in a shotgun ragtime band, one, two, one, two, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the amount of time we spend on each chord in the verse. So, now what are they doing? Well, I've looked at the video, a live video of the Grateful Dead playing this song, and you don't really get to see um, exactly what they're doing, but there's a certain feel to it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Let's talk about that right there. First of all, now let me put this down so I can. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we've got eight beats we're working with here. I think we should zoom in on this and see if we can get you to see this better. So what we've got here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beats. Now you can divide that into fours. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, if you want to. But on this particular song, when you've got eight beats in a chord, then what we've got is we have a whole eight beat strum, I guess you could say, two fours. And of course we play the first beat down. One, two, and then on the second beat, let's not actually hit the second beat. I'm just gonna put a little arrow there, a dotted arrow as you can see. One, two, three, down on three, four, and then we're going to go up right there. One, two, three, four. Now the next part, um, I was looking at one girl play this on the internet, and this is what she did. She did down, up on five, and then she did a down on six, 
and she did a down on seven and a down up on eight. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So that sounds something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, you just do that, let's say, let's go to the next chord, which is E, and then we do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's what she was doing. Now, I have a tendency to not do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's write that down. I actually like that strum a little bit better. It starts out the same. One, two, I, I do the motion down, but I don't hit it. Three, four, Let me check this again. Let me play it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's it. Okay. On seven, I hit a downstroke. On eight, I hit a downstroke. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have this down, rest, down, down, up, up, down, down, down. It's a little simpler in some ways. I don't hit beat five. Beat five is a strong beat. It's the second set of four. I actually leave it out. And I accent the upbeat right after five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what? I was wrong. I actually accent the six. Right, okay, so I don't accent that so much. I actually accent the six. I'm surprised. I didn't realize it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I accent one heavily, heavier, and I accent six. This up, down, down, down. So let's do it one more time, kind of slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, what do I do on the two beat chords or the four beat chords? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something like that. So what I do is when I have a four beat chord, then I only play the first four beats of that strum, like one, two, three, four. And then when I get to on Sunday, the G chord, one, two, I either strum it twice, one, two, and then the D, one, two, I strum it twice. Or I just strum it once, like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
So friends, that's how we do the strum to Ramble on Rose by Grateful Dead. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for being here at uh, Quail Studios. And uh, check us out at Patreon. See what we're doing over there. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Da <laughs> da